Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Exos 10 light rectangular pendant. This is the 13 1204. It's an awesome fixture. It's going to be using this piece of glass and this piece of glass is also used in a lot of other things from Hubbardton Forge. It's going to be available in two different types of glass. You're going to have opal, which is a true white, even though when you look at this in, in lots of different views it looks very yellowed up, but in reality it's, it's white. The color of the light coming out of the bulbs is going to be making it uh, look more warm and yellow. Um, anyway, I'll be getting in more detail on opal glass later in the video. The other option is going to be clear, and then you have a little diffuser that's going to be hiding the socket set up in the bulb. So um, that's, what, that's what that's all about. Okay, but I do want to get into the size of the fixture body. So you've got 10 of these hanging down, but let's just talk about one individual unit out of that 10. That's going to be 10.6 inches high and 3.46 inches in diameter. When we talk about adding them all up, now you've got 44.5 inches, right, left to right, and then the depth of it's going to be 8.5. You're going to be staggering these to make them all fit. So you're not going to be just going in a line. You're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And, and it's, that's the way it's designed to look, and it looks really awesome. Um, overall height, now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. Lowest point, right to the ceiling, and you've got a couple different pull-down menu. Well, you've got a pull-down menu that's going to give you two options. So it's going to give you 13 to 80, that's going to be standard, and it's going to give you the long is 13 to 130. If you need this longer than 130 inches long, which is pretty long, drop me a quick email and let me know what you're doing and then I can talk to Hubbardton Forge Customs about that. Same deal, if you're using this on a sloped ceiling, email me because I want to see what you're doing and kind of check in with them on that, okay? So those cables going up are going to be going up into what's called a canopy on your ceiling. It's a low voltage fixture. Inside of that canopy is going to be a driver and a transformer transforming your line voltage down to low voltage. You can touch those cables without any problem at all. And that canopy is going to be about that thick, too, okay? A couple of little details on the canopy. It's going to have grippers on it. And a gripper is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be taking those cables and pushing them up into the grippers. And you can't pull them back down again. If you do want to pull them back down again, you take your thumbnail, you push those in. It releases a little lock, and then you can kind of back them back out again. Make sure you, you know, have everything the way you want it to be before you cut any wires. So that's the last thing you're going to be doing. A great way to show you more details about the canopy is to look at the installations instructions. If you're on the page for this on HandmadeInVermont.com, look over on the side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. So open that up for me. It is going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how to put the thing together, which is super easy. It's going to show you detailed and line drawings of the inside of the canopy. It's going to be attaching to your four inch junction box, but you're also going to be attaching this to other parts of your building. This is coming in at 57 pounds, so that's all stuff that you need to send to your installer just so they have a, a pretty good view of what you what you're up to. Okay? Okay, moving on from there, let's talk about the bulbs and what's going on with the socket. So down below, inside of that glass, you're going to have a G4 socket in each of these. It's a G4 is basically a really small socket with two little holes in it that are going to accept the prongs coming out of the bulbs that you see next to me here. And these are just two samples out of lots of different bulbs. Best way to see the bulbs on these things is to go on Amazon. So go on Amazon, put in G4 LED, hit search, and you're going to have a big page of things to look at. You're going to notice quite a few things. Uh, to begin with, this is a dimmable fixture, so if, if you're going to be going for the dimmable bulbs, which I expect you to do, tell your installer that you're going to be using dimmable LEDs so they use the correct dimmer on the wall. When you're looking at all these bulbs, some of them do say dimmable, some of them say non-dimmable, so keep note of that. Also note um, a couple other things. Color temperature. So you're going to see some of them, a lot of them are in 2700 Kelvin, some of them are in 3000 Kelvin. The difference between those is uh, the, the color of the light, the warmth of the light. So 2700 Kelvin is the equivalent of, like, let's say an incandescent bulb from our past that you dim down a little bit and that's very yellow. 3000 Kelvin is the color of the light coming out of the bulbs on my, uh, putting the light on my hands. These are 3000 Kelvin. Also a warm light, uh, warm white anyway. 
Um, but you're not going to be able to find anything above that because I didn't really find anything above that as far as color temperature goes. So these are the two that you're going to be working with, 2700 Kelvin and 3000 Kelvin. You'll also notice that these kind of start off at 1.5 watt and max out at 4 watt. And the 4 watt is the max for each of these 10. And don't forget, you've got 10 of these. So 4 watts is the equivalent of a 40 watt halogen. That's quite a bit. If you're using the Sober Kitchen Island, I would expect you're going to go for the 4 watts. That would be the best thing to do. If you're going over a dining table and you just want that yellow kind of candlelit warmth glow, you can go down to that 1.5 watts. And there's also 2 and 3 watts that you're going to find in there too. So uh, that 1.5 watt is going to be the equivalent of a 20 watt halogen. And like I said, you've got 10 of these, so that's all going to add right up. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video, so it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same, and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardson Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen. Take pictures of what you're, the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets are going to be non-returnable. 
it'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item that that is the case. So always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.